We are at uh, Allington Lock on the River Medway, which is the top of the tide of the Medway. And just next to us, over here, are four large sluice gates. Uh, and around them runs an eel pass. So it's a long trough full of little bristles. And the little eels that arrive travel up through the pass. And it's one of our sites that has a, an eel trap in it. We've got 14 sites across London. Uh, and many of them are being monitored by our volunteer citizen scientists. And what that means is that the volunteers come out uh, twice a week and they take out our traps or they, they have a look in our traps and any elvers they find, they count them first and they measure them and then they upload all the information they find to the ZSL database. The ZSL have been monitoring since, since 2005 uh, so this is the eighth year of monitoring and uh, generally the trajectory has been downwards but this year seems to be an unusual year and the numbers seem to be quite good at the moment. But we have to bear in mind the European eel is a critically endangered species uh, and one year's worth of data won't change that. We really need to see a consistent improvement in numbers before that can be sort of reviewed. Some sites are monitored by ZSL staff other sites are monitored by volunteers, our citizen scientists. And over the last three years, we've had over 230 volunteers being trained onto the program. Uh, and so at our eight citizen science sites, we've got teams of volunteers going out. They really enjoy it, I have to say. It's, it's, it's fantastic to see. Uh, it raises awareness about eels and, uh, and uh, uh, spreads the message that the fact that eels are endangered. And uh, at the end of the monitoring season, which runs from April to October, we invite them all uh, to London Zoo, where they get together, and we talk about what it means, or the, the, the data they've found. Uh, we say thank you, of course, uh, and, uh, and hopefully we'll welcome them back next year and carry on the programme.